Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Prince Automation Destination. This said Prince. So in our last lecture of GitLab series, we covered introduction to GitLab and we discussed how you can create account on GitLab. And today we are going to start with very important feature of GitLab that is repository management. So repository management in GitLab is similar to GitHub or Bitbucket. So what we can do is whatever the changes, whatever the code that we are working on, we can push that either to GitHub, Bitbucket or GitLab. In today's case or in this series, we are going to push our changes to the GitLab. So repository management in GitLab works similar to GitHub and it needs Git in the client machine to push our changes or to sync the changes from the GitLab to the local machine, right? So as part of current lecture, we'll try to add our existing BDD Cucumber framework to the GitLab repository. So we have already covered uh, one framework uh, as part of one of the series in YouTube that is Cucumber. In case you want to check out, I'll be sharing the link of same in the icon in case you want to understand more on Cucumber. Okay, now let us try to add the repository, existing repository to the GitLab. Okay, so for that purpose, we already have one framework okay bdd framework so if i'll go inside this so this is the framework that we have used as part of one of the series so i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste it to some new location so let me post put it at this location so if i'll go inside this framework and try to open cmd at this particular location and if i want to check the branch for this particular uh, repository it will show me the branch of github because this particular project was available on github and how it is able to show because it contains this dot git file and this dot git file contains the information related to the repository as well as the remote repository right so what i'm going to do i'm going to delete it right so when i'll delete it and if i'll show you the branch now what will happen now right it will show that it is not a git repository anymore okay so for that purpose what we need to do first we'll go to the remote server of gitlab so this is the gitlab uh, remote server or gitlab server so this is the projects this is home let me come from home and from here i can click on projects and we have new project section i'm going to click on new project and i'm going to click on create blank project and let me give it name gitlab demo youtube right and what i'm going to do i'm going to create a public repository and i'm going to uncheck this particular option because i don't want to have any readme document for now okay public i'm keeping so that you people can access this particular repository so i'm going to create a project so now we have created a repository or project on remote and we have a repository available in local as well so how to set up a connection right so nothing to worry about GitLab will itself give the steps. So in case we want to create a new repository, we can follow these steps. But in our case, we have existing repository or existing folder. So what we'll do, we'll have to go to this particular folder. So we have already opened CMD to this particular location, right? So what is the next thing that we are going to do? We are going to use this particular command. So we need to follow this sequence. So as soon as I will do git init, hyphen hyphen initial branch equal to main what will happen is it will initialize a git repository meaning it will convert this repository into git whatever is available locally on this particular location and it will set the main branch as uh, initial branch as main so let me show you the bdd framework now so you will see that it has dot git which we previously deleted now it got added because of this particular command right now the next step is what we need to do we need to go to the second step right so the second step is setting up the connection between the remote repository which is this particular project and the local project so for that purpose what we are going to do we are going to copy this particular line okay now i have copied it and going to paste it right now what happened it it has set up the connection between local and remote now we need to add the changes which are available locally to the staging so this is how we add changes to changes from local to staging so as soon as i'll do git add dot the changes are moved to staging now the next step is we need to commit locally 
into local git repository so this is how we commit and this is the message so as this is going to be the first commit that's why we are mentioning initial commit so this is the convention which is followed in the industry right now we have added all the files now all the files are added the next thing is we need to perform push so we can use normal push as well but as this main branch is not available on remote so we'll have to use hyphen hyphen setup stream as well and origin main to set this particular local branch main which we have created in this particular step to the remote as well right so what i'll do i'll simply do this git push hyphen hyphen setup stream origin main so we don't need to do anything we just need to follow the steps provided by the gitlab okay so this is how the changes will be pushed and how the project is synced from local to remote okay now i will simply what i will do is i'm going to go here on this particular project i won't do anything i will simply refresh this particular page right as soon as i'll uh, refresh you will see that all the changes which were available locally are available now here right so this is how we can push or how we can push our local code to the remote this is how we can create a project on gitlab and sync it with the local repository so now we have added the project so the ne next thing is what we are going to do is we will be discussing about the architecture of gitlab and we'll discuss other features in the upcoming series so stay tuned for more such videos and i would request you to please like share and subscribe thank you once again